walk starts from Wendover Station. Now on the first footpath of the walk, as you can see, the weather's quite reasonable today. One dry day amongst the many wet ones this August. Now on a path between fences across a field, heading towards some Chilton woodland. Approaching Coxgrove Wood, now looking back the way I've come, looking back towards Wendover. Now in Coxgrove Wood. Now on a path along the right hand edge of a field with glorious views over to my left. And that's the way ahead. From the field with the great views, the walk enters this beechwood with the dappled sunlight. Superb. That's the way ahead. Now heading along the path above Dunsmore Old Farm. The path runs along this track through more woodland. Despite the aircraft noise, it feels quite remote here. Now rising along a path towards the woods of Little Hamden Common, there's some interesting field patterns over to the left. Now in the woods of Little Hamden Common, and that's the way ahead. At the end of Little Hamden Common Woods, the walk joins a section of the South Bucks Way. A little further along, we seem to have joined a section of the Icknield Way long distance footpath as well as the South Bucks Way. There's the South Bucks Way sign. West of Little Hampton, and away from all those long distance footpaths in fact, the walk passes by this incredibly deep hollow. It's quite hard to get a scale of it I think in the camera. Now on a wide gravel trackway heading towards a wood of conifers. Now on a remote narrow footpath the walk passes by another hollow, not as dramatic as the previous one. That's the way ahead. At the Brush Hill Nature Reserve, we've now joined a section of the Ridgeway long distance footpath. From the Nature Reserve there are truly fantastic views over Princess Risperer and far, far beyond. The reserve is actually on the top of the Chilton Escarpment. A fascinating path junction. We're turning right here along the sign marked Icknield Way. The walk path is the Red Lion Pub in Whiteleaf Village. Now on the top of Whiteleaf Hill, the view is truly spectacular. The walk will rejoin the Ridgeway at this point. Now on the Ridgeway heading away from Whiteleaf Hill, look at the different colours on those leaves. That's the way ahead. Now in Cadston Wood, that's the way ahead. 
have now crossed the road and entered Pulpit Wood. That's the way ahead. As you can see, we're about to turn right to Pulpit Hill Fort. Up there. That would appear to be part of the ramparts of Pulpit Hill Fort. After Pulpit Wood, more great views open up. That's the way ahead. Now on an interesting path through a field with these hillocks on the right. That's the way ahead. Now on the footpath cut into the side of Beacon Hill. There's a view of Ellisborough Church. And here's another view of Ellisborough Church. Just past Ellsborough Church, the walk joins the route of the Owlsbury Ring, which as the name suggests, is a long distance footpath that encircles Owlsbury. Now on a field path, to the right there's a view of Coombe Hill. And its monument. Coombe Hill is the highest point in the Chilterns. Now joining a road, there's an Owlsbury ring sign pointing back the way I've just come. Another Owlsbury ring sign, this one pointing the way I'm going from the road. And that's the way ahead. Now on the final field path heading back towards Wendover. The walk ends back at Wendover Station.